Hello guys, this is Bashir Dhani again. Sorry I was gone for a little too long. Uh, today I have came up with a solution of uh, TP-Link router CPE 210. Uh, as you all know that TP-Link uh, 200 CPE 210 uh, drops the clients. Uh, um, most people are facing this problem. Uh, I have this model which is 2.0 uh, I have installed it in uh, several places uh, but the problem was it would drop clients uh, so as you can see my CPE 210 uh, was not so good I was very disappointed with that so uh, I have about 10 of them so I had to do something about it uh, you can install you know these stuff very easily so the main problem is it drops the clients what you're going to do is uh, you're going to go to this website tiplink.com and go to download cpe 210 html hash firmware this is the link i'm going to the link will be in the description so i've downloaded the latest version uh 2018 to 13. so i have downloaded uh, the firmware and uh, you're going to go to the system you're going to browse and the file will be in a zip folder you are going to extract that uh, inside the uh, extract file you are going to see these three files these two are uh, some documents and this one is uh, the the firmware of this uh, model uh, you are going to open it then you are going to upload it after uploading they are going to uh, clicking uploading uh, the CPE will tell you if you want to restore the default settings uh, you're going to click here yes after that <coughs> you're going to uh, reconfigure your uh, tip link device and one the most important thing is the time zone you're going to select your time zone uh, whichever country you are living in uh, after that uh, you are good to go as you can see my uh, tp link faros is running very smoothly currently there is only one station connected uh, it does its job uh, very well now uh, so this is the uh, problem that is not solved yet by anybody uh, I hope this video will <coughs> help you uh, subscribe to my channel uh, I hope I could be uh, more useful in some other problems uh, so all you have to do is go to system browse and download the latest uh, go to download and go to browser and download the latest firmware uh, so the your bug will be fixed and your device will work smoothly this is it for now uh, please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends in the technical departments uh, whoever has this model uh, so take care